Thriver, Jess Van Den from Create and Thrive here. Today I just wanted to take you through a little workshop on how to create a banner using Canva. I'm going to show you how to create a banner for Etsy, but you could use this to create any sort of banner of any dimensions that you need for your shop or your website um, in a really easy, quick way. You can also use Canva to make all sorts of other awesome graphics. I use it for Instagram and Pinterest graphics and blog graphics all the time and it just makes things so easy. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make an Etsy banner. But first of all, what size do you need? So here we are on uh, my Etsy front page. Now to find out what banner you, size you need, let's go here. So click on your shop and then you click on shop settings info and appearance and that'll take us to this page here and this is where you go to upload your banner and you can see here it gives you a few instructions so use a jpeg gif or png that is 760 pixels by 100 pixels and no larger than 2 megabytes cool all right we have our size so now i'm going to go to canva.com I'm already logged in. If you're not already um, on Canva, you'll just need to sign up and then you'll come in here to the main design screen. So all we have up here is all sorts of pre-designed sizes. So you can see social media, 800 by 800, a square. You've got a Facebook cover. You've got Facebook posts, Instagram, blog graphics, all sorts of pre-designed um, performance basically that you can use for all sorts of graphics okay so if you you know you want to make it easy on yourself to make all those social media graphics come here pick the right one and bam it's done for you but if you want to make a, a, a banner in a different size click here use custom dimensions so let's use that and here we can enter our width and height so if we go back here we'll see it's 760 by 100 so our width is 760 and our height is 100 pixels yep Okay, because you can choose millimeters or inches. We want pixels because that's what it told us back here. And design. So now it's going to take us to a pre-sized banner. So there's our banner in the middle of the screen. Um, it's the right size for Etsy. Now all you need to do is decide what you want to put on it. So let's say we want to just do some text. Um, if we go back to my shop, and have a look at my shop. I didn't make this banner using Canva, I made it a few years ago, but if we want to make something that looks pretty similar, it's pretty easy to do. Over here you've got all of your design elements, so let's go to text and let's start with just add subtitle text and I'm going to add and call it a ferial. And then all you do is you click here for fonts and you go through and you choose the font that you would like for your banner. So you, you know, you're limited here to the fonts that Canva has, but there's a pretty good range and chances are you're going to find something that you like that you can use. So I'm going to use Josephine Sands for mine. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can adjust the font size. I'm going to center it there. Okay, cool. So that's done. You can also, you know, bold italicize, all sorts of other things. You can adjust the text spacing so you can move the letters in and out like that. Or you can make the lines bigger or smaller. It's really awesome and it makes it so easy to do things. Then I'm just going to make my text blue because that's my color. So let's click on that and let's just make it the standard blue for now. Bam, done. I'm just going to move that up and you'll see the lines that appear. So that's the centering. So that's centered horizontally and vertically, but I want to move it up a little bit. And I think I want to make it a little bit bigger too. And a little bit bigger again. And yeah, okay, let's move it up a bit. And it's centered. Awesome. So now I want to add my silver simplicity here. Um, obviously, I'm not making exactly the same, but that's okay. The beauty of this is that you can muck around with it. So I'm going to make that, um, I'm going to make it the same font, but I'm going to italicize it. There we go. Awesome. And I'm going to center it again. And um, that size I'm pretty happy with. So I'm just going to grab it and move it down a little bit. And you can see how it kind of snaps. What will happen is your text will sometimes snap into place depending on the other text and pictures that you've got. Um, I'm just going to swap these colors around now. So let's just go for a kind of a dark color there. Yeah, that sounds good, cool. 
done. All right, just have to highlight the baby. There we go. And then for Silver Simplicity down here, I'm going to make that blue. So it's a bit more like my banner. Awesome. And there you go. You've got a basic banner with some text on it. Then all you have to do to save it is click up here and click download. And you can download it as an image or a PDF, which is awesome. And, um, you know, you've got, if you've got like multiple pages, because you can do that, and you can publish it for print as well. So it's really, really useful. Now, maybe you want to add a picture to this, and it's really easy to do that. All you have to do is head over here to either background, if you want some sort of textured background, you've got lots of options to choose from. But if you want your own photo, you just click over to uploads, and you can upload your own images from your computer. So I've got heaps of uploads here because I use it all the time. Just say I want to add this picture, so I just drag it over, and then I can adjust the size. Now obviously with um, an Etsy banner, it's very narrow, uh, very um, not very high but very wide, so you need to make sure you're picking uh, you know, photos that are going to look good in that sort of situation. So I'm just going to adjust this a little bit, play around somewhat. Um, I might make that white. Yeah, let's just make it a little bit smaller so it fits in the space a bit better. And then let's move this over here as well, underneath there. Now another thing, you know, if you're going well, you know, my colours aren't quite right, you can actually make it a little bit transparent. So you can actually adjust the transparency of your image so that it's, you know, not 100% there or, or, or whatever. So then I can go back here and I might make this black again so it's a little easier to see. And I might make this black or white. Mm, let's go with black, I think. Again, so it's a little bit easier to see. And you can muck around with all those sorts of things. I could put that over there if I wanted to. Okay, super, super easy to use, super simple. And there we go, bam, I've got a banner. Um, let's impre increase that transparency again. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. And then we're done. All we have to do is click the download button, download it, save it to our computer, upload it into your shop. So let's do that quickly. Okay, so download as an image. It'll save your images for you. Now, it's saying you're able to publish this design free of charge because you've only used free Canva elements and your own images. Canva makes their money by charging you a dollar to use certain elements. Okay, so if you want to use certain uh, certain backgrounds that they already have or certain images, they have a huge bank of uh, images, clip art sort of, you know, and photographs and stuff that you can use, and it'll tr it'll cost you a dollar for that. I don't think I've ever used. <laughs> sorry, Canva. I don't think I've ever used anything that's cost me any money. Uh, mostly because I use my own photos or stock photos I get from elsewhere, and I just use the free elements as well. Uh, if you want to explore a bit more over on the, the um, search and layouts, there's all sorts of banners, you know, um, all sorts of banners and shapes that you can muck around with the size and the color to use in your in your banner as well. So, you know, that's pretty cool. I'll just show you what I mean. All of these elements, okay? So you can put frames for photos, you can put banners, you can put lines, um, you know, stickers, arrows, all sorts of stuff. It's really cool. And it's all just drag and drop and you know you just use your mouse to resize stuff. Okay, cool. So I've downloaded this. So then I just go back to my Etsy shop. Your shop. Shop settings, info and appearance. And I choose my file from my downloads. I've got mine organized by date so it's always easy to see what's just happened. And I'll double click on that. And then I'll click. Uh, once I've done that, I'll just click save changes and bam it'll be there simple as that really really easy so so flexible you know you can use canva for anything that you want so i highly recommend you check it out if you've not used it before head over to canva.com play around with it i'm pretty sure you'll fall in love with it as much as i have and uh, if you make something with it leave it in the comments leave me a link tell me about it so i can go check it out and i can see what you've done that would be really awesome Okay guys, I will see you in the next video. Ciao.